I think if you're a Pokemon fan for long enough, you eventually start having a fondness for Pokemon that you've never used and have no reason to really like. You just love to see them show up. Breloom is definitely in that category for me. Okay, so by the time I'm recording this, I've had Scarlet and Violet for about two and a half days now. Um, and after I got home from work last night, as well as just most of this morning, um, I've been playing it, really loving it so far. Uh, don't get me wrong. There's some dicey things in it. The graphics are whack. Like, they are crazy. Um, and then there's always just like the normal kind of complaints of Pokemon. You know, the story is a bit simple. And I was kind of disappointed because I thought it was going to be like three separate storylines. It turns out, oh no, it's just three unassociated storylines that you still have to be in the same order you would in a normal Pokemon game anyway. So... But it's still fun. I'm still liking it. I like the characters and my team right now. I'm really digging it. It's the first time I've been able to use a Dratini, and that's because I just went to the Dragon Lake and caught one with a Pokeball, and somehow Hopip was able to stay alive long enough to get me that win. So, on all of those good vibes with Pokemon, I'm going to go straight into Breloom and just gush for a bit. From the Pokemon Sitting Cuties, also known as Pokemon Fit in Japan, this is Breloom, and they're trying their best. You gotta give them that. If you're unfamiliar with this line, basically they're doing every single Pokemon in a unified style and about a unified size uh, as plushies. They've done all of the first four generation Pokemon now. Gen 5 is set to come out sometime soon, and the hope is that they'll eventually do all Pokemon in this style, which is great because they're adorable and lovely, and I love them. Um, but some are admittedly a bit objectively better than others, and even though Breloom is one of my favorites, Breloom also has a hard time sitting, which is really tough considering it's a sitting cutie. Take a closer look, and typically the sitting cuties have to be slightly deformed or cheapified to work as a plush. Breloom just looks like Breloom. Like, if you have the legs down underneath, which it doesn't normally stand like this, but if you could, like, that's just Breloom's proportions. That's great. Um, the tail's a tad stubby, but, you know, that's fine. And also, look, they got the hat. I've always loved Breloom's hat. Um, my biggest complaint with it is that these frills sit up when they should be sitting down, and I think that would look better, but unfortunately they always pop up. And also, due to a issue with how they stitched the legs together on mine, it's really hard to get Breloom to sit. Um, so that is a bit of concern to keep into account. I'll tell you what's not an issue is hand fill, because really, aside from like a nubbin here in the thumb, everything on this guy feels great for sensory materials. Love it. 